right, let's put you in a four-wheel drive automatic. There we go, we should be good. Well, you guys, winter finally decided to show up. We've got like maybe two inches so far. And hopefully this road is clear. Looks like it's mostly clear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Took forever, these people wouldn't let me in. <laughs> anyway, we're on the road now. We're in a four wheel drive automatic. Here we are a couple days before Christmas and it finally decides to snow. It's about time. I don't think it'll stick around for Christmas though, so I'm not sure if we'll have a white Christmas. Luckily though, the main roads like this, they're already plowed for the most part. I mean, it's still snowing at the moment, so they're still plowing them. Actually, there's a couple plows behind me. I don't know if you guys can see the blue and yellow lights behind me. One thing you want to remember about winter driving is just take it slow and give yourself plenty of stopping distance because if you just slam on your brakes, you will slide. That's no doubt. Let's see how we do at the start here. Oh, we didn't get the light. Oh, we didn't slip at all. Nice. You guys, I just saw a Supra pass me. I didn't grab the camera in enough time. But I really hope he's going to go get his beater car because this is not the weather to be driving a Supra in. Not at all. <laughs> Usually people don't slow down for this corner. This corner is marked for like 20 miles an hour. It looks like they're actually slowing down today. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's see how we do. There we go. We're doing almost 20. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> here brought out his uh, big lifted truck usually winter time is when you see all the big lifted trucks because <laughs> they do usually pretty well in the snow mainly because they're four-wheel drive the only bad thing about the uh, mud terrain tires that they usually have those that throw snow up behind them a couple things I suggest if you're going to be driving in snow like this is at least all-wheel drive because just having front-wheel drive you're likely to get stuck even though it is better than rear-wheel drive which you're <laughs> more than likely definitely going to get stuck with rear-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive is okay but all-wheel drive is probably the minimum that I would want if not a dedicated four-wheel drive system. But yeah, it's not too bad in this. We're doing pretty well. Here we are cruising at 45. The speed limit is 55, so we're only doing 10 under right now, and that's just because everyone else is doing it. I'll tell you what, this is one of the days where it's nice to have heated seats and a heated steering wheel going. Definitely appreciate having that. <laughs> Another suggestion here is to uh, see how these you can see the grooves that other cars have made. Another suggestion is to keep your tires inside the grooves that they've already made because that's where the clear pavement is and where you'll have the most traction. Look at this, right here. Normally you'd be able to see the mountains right here and we can't even see them. Here goes one of our uh, snow plows. I heard from a friend of mine the roads are pretty bad and there's cars off the road. But luckily, I haven't seen that myself. People on this road, I guess, know how to take it slow and know how to drive. <laughs> Actually, it's getting a little worse as I'm getting further down south. But the truck's not doing too bad at all. It's definitely doing way better than my old car would have. Look at this little thing plowing snow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, I was planning on doing some shenanigans in the parking lot here, but they're already plowing it. Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> Actually, some places they haven't plowed. 
but it's not really that it's not really big enough for me anyway guys this video is going to be posted on Christmas Day so Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays whatever you celebrate I hope you are spending it with family and uh, hopefully you guys will see this video <laughs> if not you can watch it the next day thanks for joining me on this uh, little commute here and uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and have a good day